and in this video we're going to be going through how to obtain a MailChimp IP and a MailChimp list ID. So with your T-Rex plugin we do have a integration with MailChimp if you choose to use MailChimp as your uh, mail service. So um, we do have a T-Rex uh, premium mail um, T-Rex mail premium plugin also that does a lot of the same things as MailChimp does but we had a lot of requests for people that like to use MailChimp, have been using MailChimp for a while, or they would like to send out emails from their MailChimp accounts. So we can do that. Um, this is optional, but if you decide that you want to use MailChimp as your premium mail service, then you can do this. So the first thing you would need to do is go to MailChimp.com um, and sign up for a free account. So create your account. And if, there's two pieces of information that we need. We need the API key and you need your MailChimp list ID. Okay, so you can create one list for your T-Rex customers that buy, uh, that purchase T-Rex products, and you can um, import those all into one list. Okay, um, also you can, you can create different lists inside of MailChimp with different uh, buyers, and that's when you have buyers, and you can go in your order report here, and I'll show you this too, and then you can search, since we don't have any orders on this test site, you'll be able to actually um, search here once you get some orders uh, right up here you can see you can search by campaign so let's say you're selling pet products you can search by this campaign uh, download you can um, once you have those people selected you can export those payments of the of a specific campaign or even a specific product okay you can export those payments into a CF, CSV and then you can always create your list that way and create new lists as in your MailChimp account as you get those uh, email addresses but for now, you can just have one master list and email in MailChimp. So what you want to do to get your list ID is once you create your list, um, you simply, if you have not ever used this, you would just create a list. And then you would just follow the, the prompts on how to create a list. And we're not going to go through all of that. Um, I'll kind of let you do your own little research on how to create a list ID, but or I mean how to create a MailChimp list. But it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty basic. They're going to ask you from your... Uh, default from email address, probably your support email, uh, your name, so probably your website name here. A little reminder how they got onto the list, so you know you might want to just, um, they give you a little example, you're receiving this email because you opted in at our website, or you purchased something on our website. Okay, so these are all the things that you can um, set up and then simply create that list. So we'll go back, and once you have a list created, you can go over here to this arrow in, in your pull down arrow and go to settings. Okay, and once you go down to settings, you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see that there's a unique ID for this list. And I just called this list test. So you would simply just copy that, go back to your business settings, let's go back to business settings here, and put this into your list MailChimp list ID here. Okay, we also need a MailChimp API key. So what you would like to do is go back over here. Up in the uh, header section, just pull down the drop down. You're going to go to profile. You're going to go to extras. Pull that down and you'll see API keys. Scroll down and you'll just create a key for that particular your account. So you can create this. You can have you can create different keys, but this one will be for your T-Rex account. So once you create that key, it will automatically generate a token. You just go ahead and copy. Go back to your business settings and put that into your MailChimp list API key field. Go ahead and save your changes. Oops, let's do that again. And I'll go back and get the list ID. I don't know why I didn't save, but we'll try it one more time. Changes. And there we go. We have it in there. So that's how you find your MailChimp API key, your MailChimp list ID. We'll have more training videos on the T-Rex Premium Mailer. But if you are familiar with uh, MailChimp, they do have a lot of really great templates that you can send your, your, uh, your customers. Um, they have a lot of really great things to track. You can do a lot of A-B testing with uh, MailChimp. And so obviously it's one of the leading brands and email services. So um, if you want to, that's how you get that. You can automatically get your emails imported right into your MailChimp account by grabbing those two pieces of information.